Hey guys, so on June 13th on my Instagram, I've just gone into my Instagram, um, I put up this with a write-up. I felt the need, I was overtaken, I felt the need to draw this diagram and write some blurb, which you can see some of it um, as the screenshot for this video. On the June 13th, I think I may have seen Gabby Petito's murder. Um, read the blurb. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out is the name Colin. I found a Frank Collins in connection to Dr. Oz and John Walt, you know, the missing persons. Um, but when I tried to zero in on him, I couldn't find... Um, anything substantial but he was to do with Dog the Bounty Hunter, Dr Oz um, they said Dr Oz, Frank Collins Frank Collins, Dog the Bounty Hunter and John Walsh from um, the missing you know that missing person show that used to be on America's Most Wanted or whatever it was he was in connection to that so I don't know if he was helping, if he's helping the investigation or was or what, I don't know. I can't find a lot about him. But the thing is, if you read my blurb, um, and I'll, I'll send, send stuff to my son's phone. He drives past every day. What I've written, keep hearing Wyoming, dry yellow grass, neighbours, drives away, keep hearing body in here, yellow grass, I could see like, you know, trees and like it was sort of autumn-y and gravel dirt roads in there and I saw a abandoned house with no roof and I said she was in there. Now the thing is I've been looking at the investigation because obviously, you know, historical grief investigation. If you type in Grand Teton National Park derelict houses, that park where her body was found is littered with derelict houses and due to his erratic behaviour and his family's erratic behaviour I believe <clears throat> he be he had her body in a house somewhere and then he moved the body and judging by the reports the the uh, police and that also think and the FBI also think her body was moved um, and like reburied so I think maybe he kept her body there and then he went back and buried it left it where it would be found or something I don't know but if you read my blue bit it makes a lot more sense to what I'm trying to say now now the other thing is in my blurb as well I keep saying that I saw a dark pink and <clears throat> um, I'll put a link in the description box below her vigils, everybody's wearing that dark pink. When they go to um, that Brian Laundrie's house to do a vigil to get him to, you know, speak up and say where her body is and blah, 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 they're all wearing that pink that I saw on her body. So the only connection I haven't found yet is the name Colin. Or it could be Collins, but I'll put links in the description box. But um, yeah, thirteenth of June. I put that up. So interesting, huh? Historical grief investigations. Right. Here's my son's phone. This is taken off my Instagram. Because I was trying to find stuff. When I get these random jumps, it's... You have to grab onto as many pieces of information as you can while you're flying through the time portal. Yeah. 
just the name Co the Colin is the only thing I can't figure out. <laughs> See, I was trying to make sense of what it was I was seeing. The transgender thing was just because I was just trying to figure out why I kept hearing the name Colin. <laughs> I was literally figuring this all out seconds after I had the jump and there's the Instagram. So interesting if I could figure out the Colin connection. And um, I'd love to look into this case, eh? He'll probably end up suiciding himself to escape punishment. <laughs>